think of this, 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 this. This house flipper is not just sprucing up an investment. Oh, it's not bad. He's got a completely green makeover in mind. Okay. But will his ambitious plans put some greenbacks into his wallet? Cha-ching, cha-ching. Or will it leave him seeing red? Mr. Mineral Root Leak. All the mold and stuff coming down. Oh, man. That's all up next on Greenovate. State investor Chris Prelitz knows a thing or two about going green. I co-designed and built the first permitted solar electric home in our county back in 1994, and I've been at it ever since. As a professional green consultant, he shows others how to use the natural environment to their advantage. But now he's bought a home of his own to green. He plans on turning this old, energy-wasting house into a solar-powered marvel, and then flip it for a profit. This project is located in Laguna Woods, California. It's a 1,600-square-foot, two-bedroom, two-bath house. I paid four sixty dollars for it, and my budget is $90,000. I really think this project will be an inspiration for the community. There's already a groundswell of excitement about it. So I can put in all the green features I want, and people can see for themselves that it's really possible to build a home where all the utilities are covered by the sun. The biggest challenge for the project is going to be the Homeowners Association on getting the permits. They really don't want to change the look of this, so I know it's just going to be a matter of talking with them about the benefits and eventually get approved. Can I replace the door? Yeah, uh -huh. kind of hideous looking door. Come on in. So this house was built in 1975, isn't that correct? That's right. These were all electric gold medallion homes. So one of the challenges with that is that the electric bills in this community are really, really mm -hmm. high. So we like to come in and green this building and lower the electric bill down to really zero. The main reason we bought the house was that it has great south-facing windows. Of all this glass here, that's going to let in the winter light so the heating will be uh, from the sun, basically. We're actually going to have four kinds of solar systems. Mm -hmm. Passive is more important than active systems. And, and the passive part of this is that under the carpeting here, it has this great concrete floor. Okay. So in winter, it's going to soak up all of the heat that comes in from the sun, mm -hmm. and then in summertime, it's going to be our cooler because it's connected to the earth. And that stays a real constant 60 degrees, so this will stay cool. The house has two identical master suites, as well as a den that will require less work than the rest of the house. Chris plans to green these rooms by replacing the carpets with stone flooring, using non-toxic paint for the walls, and installing dual-pane energy-efficient windows. So this is the bathroom. Very nice to have the skylight again. Yeah, really nice. So we'll make that an operable one, just like all the others. So that gives us natural light and ventilation. Okay. Chris will be doing a complete green remodel of both bathrooms, including new water efficient fixtures and dual flush toilets. So great, great, what great view. What a view. This is gorgeous. And they did a really nice job of trees. And we've even got a peach tree. Uh huh. A nice mature peach tree. Yep, that. really good. And we could put, you know, uh, awnings that, that came out and gave us more shade if we wanted to. And then we've got the roof. Like you said, it's the homeowners association really limits what you can do. Right. But what about solar? Is that going to be a problem? On this project, we have to make it blend really well with the roof, not make it stick out too much. Actually, my hope is to do solar hot water heating and solar electric up there. That'd be fantastic. And meet all the needs of the utilities for this building. So it'll be a completely solar powered home. Coming up, Chris tackles deconstruction. Okay, what a beast. And finds out what's really behind his walls. This is a really lousy job. That's stupid, isn't it? 